Jessica here from Stitching Colors. Welcome back to another Plus Tube update. So I will be shortly showing you what I have got done over the last two weeks. And I have worked on 10 pieces with a total of 15,771 stitches. And this includes one finish. So that's really exciting. So I was really happy with my progress over the last couple of weeks and especially having a finish. So the first piece that's on top of my pile <laughs> is Little Helpers. This is a Painbury Crafts piece and the chart is retired. So this one, you should be seeing where you saw it last time, but it got 1,203 stitches on it. So I'm really happy with how it's looking. So here is where it is at now. So this is a Pain Free Crafts piece based on the artwork by Anne Stokes. And as I said, it is retired. And this is stitched one over one on 25 count easy guide with the kit uh, fabric that I, and thread that I got from Painfree Crafts. So, last time you saw it, I had pretty much just found this top corner, and now I have worked my way down and pretty much finished the dragon on this page, and so I've just got this little bit of, I think it's a painting in the background that's um, on the mantle. And that'll be all that is on that page. So, as you can see, I've nearly finished the top row of pages on this one. And that is really exciting. And I can't wait to get some more progress on this one. I think what I'm going to try and do is pull this out once a month for the rest of the year until we get to December. And that'll just get a little bit of progress on it. It's a hard piece in that I tend to find that I think, oh yeah, I'll work on my Christmas pieces in December when it's Christmas time, but I don't hugely feel Christmassy at Christmas time. So that doesn't really help me all that much. <laughs> it's had quite a bit of progress in this year in July, which has been really good. And yeah so it will hopefully come out a little a few more times before the end of the year and then i can get a bit more progress on this one which will be really cool okay the next one i have is celtic autumn and this is a lavender and lace piece stitched on 28 count chromatic alchemy hand dyed linen in the color aspen i even remembered it this time which is exciting <laughs> okay so this one got quite a bit of attention on it this got 2080 stitches so you should be seeing where you saw it last time And I'm really happy with the progress on this one and how it's coming along. And here is where it's at now. So, as always, it's never really coming together fantastically on camera. But, you'll see. I've done all of the symbols on this side. Well, the stitching-wise. I've got a few parked threads on the last ones that just need to sit there until I work out where the next colours in the rest of the dress are and then I kept filling in down on this dress on this side over here with all this brown and gold and the swirls so yeah that one got 2,000 stitches on it and I'm really happy with the progress I just um, but nearly getting close to the bottom now because as you'll remember last time I oh, found the bottom over here so the bottom is in sight which is really exciting 
So it's definitely looking like this will be a finish for later in the year. It's just going to be going back and doing all the beading. There is a lot of beading still to go in it. So, yeah. Okay. And another big one. This one is the Halloween Afghan. And this piece is the one that I'm stitching on 28 count grey Lugana in the colour Whisper. And so this is the Halloween Village Afghan that's chartered by Stony Creek. And you would you should be seeing where you saw it last time. This one has had 2,743 stitches on it. And if you'll remember where it was last time, you'll know that I was halfway through the moon. So I'm not sure if it's all in camera. That gets to be a difficult thing and it's getting that way as I get more of this done. Hold on, I just lost half the fabric. So, we'll just do a scrolling kind of thing. Hopefully, that went all the way down. <laughs> if not, here was where we were at. Okay, so, if you'll remember, last time, I had well, what I thought was about a thousand stitches left on the moon with the witch. Turns out, it was a bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that finished and you will see that there is a parked thread here at the bottom the black from the witch goes into the next row of pages of her dress I think it is and yeah so then I moved on to the next page and you'll see there's the three bats and boo written and fancy font at the bottom so that is part of the roof or on top of the roof of the house that's below also on this page is supposed to be the top of the roof but I will do that when I get to the page below because it kind of all flows down from there and yeah so that is my plan in that sense so next i also did a little bit of these um checkerboard patterns on the edge of this which will be the last page for this row and once that page is done we'll be pretty much at the halfway point page wise not stitching wise because i'm told the estimate is is about 250,000 stitches in it is what I've seen from someone finished it so we've still got a lot to go I think I'm at around about 60,000 stitches in possibly yeah so there's a few of us also working on this one so Stitching Addicted who is pretty much in a very similar position she did do the roofs at the bottom of that page with the boo and yeah and also Enchanted Stitching is working on it as well you will have seen from her whip parade that she did or released this week that she is up on page three or four somewhere in there so yeah she started it in january last year stitching addicted and i started it in may last year so we're really happy with our progress it's just a matter of getting a bit more done it's not going to be a finish anytime soon i don't think because as we get further down in the piece we get to some really exciting um aspects of the design like all the houses and the ghosts and things like that but it does get to a point almost at the bottom that it's pretty much full coverage 
so it's going to be a lot of stitching and we'll have to see how it goes it's not going to be getting a page down a month or anything like that once we get past that and lower down so yeah i think this row of pages after this it starts to get a lot more heavy coverage wise so it's going to be really fun and really interesting to work on it um stitching big things with Haley is also working on this piece and it's really exciting i'm hoping she'll pull it out soon i know she's work been working on the pennants and things like that so yeah it's going to be a fun one i'm really happy that i decided to do it on the 28 count over two because it's actually a lot nicer stitching with two threads rather than the four and it does make it that little bit smaller I mean from what we've seen there's been no uh, no fractional stitches or anything like that so even if you really loved the piece there's nothing stopping you from stitching it on a higher count fabric over one if you really wanted to I mean it will mean that it wouldn't take up as much wall space as this is going to be and I know I'm going to be turning it into a wall hanging. I'm not going to be framing it or anything like that. It's going to be far too expensive by the end of it to frame it. So it's going to be one of those things. Anyway, I will move on and stop chattering away. Okay, the next one in my pile, seeing as it's the next one in my pile, <laughs> is Archer, which is the piece that I got the finish on. So I filmed my video a couple of weekend saturday ago and then i made a start on archer too i had 2348 stitches left and i finished it that day <laughs> if only i'd waited a day to do my video <laughs> but that's okay stitching addicted also finished it on that day she's got not further along in that she's washed it and everything like that i have not yet done that it's still sitting in the same state that it was when I finished it. So, you should be seeing where you saw Archer last time. So, as most of you will probably be aware, this is a pain-free crafts piece based on the artwork by Ismira. And I'm stitching it on 25 count, one over one. And I loved this piece. And I've got a cat looking at me absolutely adorably. Showing her belly after a belly rub right beside my feet. Hey! <laughs> anyway. Here is Archer. She is all finished. I am so excited. And so she was stitched with the called for threads and everything like that that came in the kit. So... It's really cool. I'm really happy with how she came out in the end. So I definitely need to get her washed and get her a frame ordered and everything like that for her. So it's going to be really fun. Hi, Bubby. She was all too tempting. Mincha. Okay, there was Luna, and goodbye Luna. <laughs> so yeah, I got 2,348 stitches in one day on that piece done. So I was really happy. Okay, moving on to my next piece, which is a Heaven and Earth Designs piece. This is Lackadaisy Card Shark, based on the artwork by Tracy Butler. And I was really happy with the progress I got achieved on this one. So this one got 1810 stitches on it. And you should be seeing where you saw it last time. And here is where she's at now. So I am really excited because it's I got that page finished and you can see the pearl in her ear and the peacock feathers. So what I've got left on this is this is the other corner. 
and then here is where the corner of the card is much like the corner on this card side and then the rest here is going to be all 310 at least at this point height wise in the piece so I am really happy you will notice I did go over and do a few little fill-in stitches on the next page in this area here where the peacock feather was. I was just really excited to see how it was all coming along. So after a bit of a hiatus on this one, I've come back to it and I'm really happy with how she's starting to really come together. And I think once I get this top roll of pages done, it will become a lot easier to put some more focus into her unfortunately I think it's just been working out the best way of stitching it because there's a lot of confetti especially in those peacock feathers which should become a little bit less as we get a little bit further down I think I hope but I mean it looks amazing I am so happy with it and yeah it's gonna be really fun I didn't want to work too much on doing the 310 because even though 310 there is a lot of it I didn't want to end up with having all confetti to deal with and not having any of that bulk stitching the bulk stitching is a really nice break from the confetti at times Right, so the next one I have, aha, uh -huh, is the New Zealand flag. And this is the Vivsters flag. And this one I'm stitching over to on 32 count white Lugana. So this is the Quaker style pattern that I decided, much like Stitching Addicted, to fill in the corners and edges and make it a nice square um, flag. So this one has had 1152 stitches on it. So here's where we're at now. You should have already seen where it was at. And... Around about here is halfway across the flag. So, what I worked out is it's probably going to be about this kind of length down to about here, between here and here ish, which is really exciting. And yeah, I can't wait to get some more stitches on it. So, also, where I'm at here, on this cornerish area, halfway, <laughs> is about where the end of the little Union Jack in this corner is. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of working out of how to get the grey and the red and everything like that to all line up where they should because of the diagonal patterning and stitching and things like that so we'll see how that one comes along but i'm really happy with how this flag is coming along and starting to look so yeah <laughs> this one is stitched on silk for you threads using some colors that I worked out that were similar and also I decided not to do the navy um, lines on it because I found that they cut in through the stars once you get further along so I just figured I would leave the diagonal lines white at this moment in time so yeah I'm really happy how it's coming along and I can't wait to get some more progress on it and see how it comes together. Okay, I have three left. 
so the next one I have is another one of my favorite fun pieces to work on at the moment and that is mini red queen red dragon and this is stitched on 25 count 1 over 1 Lugana and this is a heaven and earth designs piece based on the artwork by Elena Lazareva so this one got where is it on my list <laughs> 981 stitches on it so I was really happy to see this kind of progress and here she is so you'll probably notice I've done originally it was down to the three blocks so I've just kind of filled in quite a bit of areas and this is still using the uh, typewriter method for this moment in time I'm just not 100% sure all I'm doing is I stitch it to the edge of the page and then park it on the next page at the moment we'll see how if that continues or if I move on to another stitching method after a while we'll see okay back to another fun one this is very blue <laughs> this is deep ocean who which stitching addicted is also working on it this is the selector size version and i'm stitching it on 25 uh, 28 count one over one using all the cord four and everything and this is a heaven and earth designs piece based on the artwork by milos karanovic so i did a lot more 939 and a little bit of 310 and got 686 stitches on it again it just doesn't look like all that much at the moment it just looks like a big blob of navy or black depending on your lighting so there are a couple of other colors in there but i think it's probably not going to show up until there's a bit more stitched on it but i'm really happy with how it's coming along so far it looks better in person than it does on the camera i think it definitely just looks like a blob of dark colors no matter which way I angle it <laughs> so yeah this one got 686 stitches on it and I am just working my way through that first page and then once I get further along there will be a little bit more color variation especially at the top but the top is predominantly still very much three nine three nine and a little bit of eight two three and three three six i believe for the most part so it's just one of those things uh okay so i have got one piece left and this is the heaven and earth designs stitch along for 2024 so we've had three out of the four parts released now so the last part will come out on the 1st of October or around that point and that will be the last of the pattern that will be released I did 758 stitches on this piece over the last couple of weeks and you should be seeing where you saw it last time but here is where I'm up to now. So, as you'll see, I have almost finished where I'm going to on this top row of pages. So, I will be very shortly, once I go back to it next time, going back over to this side and starting down on these pages down here. I have finished three pages. So, I've got one more page 
I absolutely need to do to get the other nine patterns that we get as part of the free thing and then from there if you finish it fully you do get a two free heaven and earth designs charts um i don't think i'm aiming for that you have to know exactly which heaven and earth designs charts you're after and honestly there's nothing that's been jumping out at me recently that i absolutely need to have so it's a difficult one I don't think I will be progressing much further than just getting the four pages done on this piece this year. So this is stitched on 25 count one over one using CXC threads and uh, this is the Fairy Tales one. So this is based on the artwork by Kyra Marashiti and this is a, so these Hade um, stitch along little snippets are based on a little snippet of the bigger artwork. So this is the fox as you'll see as I get further along. At the moment I've just got the ears and a little bit of the head so once I get a little bit further along it'll come along it'll come alive a little bit more from what i've seen of people that are working on it it looks amazing the only thing i will say i am a little disappointed with looking at it is this bird over here almost stands out more than the fox it's just the colors of it maybe the fox will show up more once i get a bit more stitched on it but at this moment in time i'm looking at it going that bird is a lot brighter than the fox but we'll see how that continues to play and come along and yeah. So it's just one of those things. So I guess I will be just continuing stitching on pieces until the 1st of October I believe is when Stitching Addicted and I are both going to start our black unicorn pieces. That's the Pain Free Crafts one by Anne Stokes that's now retired. And then I don't think I'm going to have any more starts this year. I'm missing a piece. I just realised I'm missing a piece. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> There's one I completely forgot to grab out of the bag and was looking at them going, yeah, I've got everything. But no, I did not. <laughs> okay, so this is actually quite exciting. I worked on my Christmas Lodge. So this is the one that I've been kind of struggling with. I'll admit, I've been struggling with it because it has just been all of the curtains that I've been working on and the curtains have been a bit of a struggle because they're all the same colors and it's not something I was enjoying. I knew once I got past the curtains, I would enjoy it a lot more, but I could not get past those curtains. Or at least every time I worked on it, it was just easier to work on those curtains. So what I did was I decided to work on it one day last weekend. Sunday, I think. Yeah, I think it was Sunday. And I decided, okay, I was going to step away from the curtains and work on the elsewhere. So, this is Christmas Lodge. It's a Heaven and Earth Designs piece based on the artwork by Dominic Davidson. And you should be seeing where you saw it last time. Already. But...
here is where it's at now. So I got 2010 stitches on it. And you can see it's not coming across very well. It's interesting. The purple up here is coming across more as blue, kind of. It's definitely purple, but anyway. So you'll see as I started filling in the rest of that page two, just going working my way down from the top. So it's going to be a bit more exciting and I think I will be able to work on it and feel a bit more drawn to working on it. I know that recently it's pretty much every time I go, oh, I should pull out that piece. You don't really want to see this look on my face when I go, oh, no, I don't want to work on these curtains. But coming back and working on our area outside the curtains actually was quite enjoyable so I got 2010 stitches on it as I said and I'm really happy with it so yeah once I get more work on these I think the purples and blues will stand out a bit more at the moment the reds and the pinks in the curtains are kind of overpowering everything <laughs> so yeah once I get a bit more done, it'll be really fun to look at. So, yeah, that's that piece. <laughs> piece number 10 that I worked on over the last two weeks. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't grab it out of the bag. But anyway. Yes, that's definitely all of them. So, uh, I hope you all have a good couple of weeks and that you find some time to get some stitching done and i will see you next time all right bye